I'm Jeff Teague. I'm at the debut, the world premiere of the 2023 GR Corolla. This is the core trim level. There are two trim levels, core and circuit edition. We'll focus on the core. As you look here, you can see the sweeping LED headlights. It also has LED fog lights and it's got active air vents on the side. Right here as well. Now look at the profile. It's got that broad hatch in the back. All right, we've got gloss black, 18 inch wheels. These are Pilot Sport. Red brake calipers, they're huge, 14 inch. These are 235-40ZR18. GR badging, gloss black here. It will have standard, this is a prototype, it'll have standard blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert. It'll also have push button start, so it's gonna have auto lock and unlock. Now look at these rockers down here. Flared out GR4. Gas tank on the driver's side. Active vents in the back too. Triple exhaust. This triple exhaust here, I believe at 4,400 RPMs, it opens up to allow maximum power. It reduces back pressure. It can rock and roll when you need it to. Backup camera here. GR Corolla badging. Remember, this is matte black. This is different from the Circuit Edition, which will be gloss black front and back. Look at the flared out fenders here. Reminds me of something out of the Batmobile. We'll look at these LED tail lights as well. Oh, mama. I'm in fear for my life from the long arm of the law. Okay, what do you think of the profile? The core is available in white, black, and supersonic red. We'll go over here for a minute. The circuit edition is available in heavy metal that you see here. That's the exclusive color for 2023. It'll probably change up after that. Limited edition on this. Ooh, that's cool. It'll also be available in white, and supersonic red. I think it's funny that I'm doing a car review in the middle of a media event. What about the power here? So what we're looking at here, we do have a prop rod. This right here, it says turbo. It must be a turbo. Exciting, right? Something new. 1.6 liter, three cylinder engine, direct injected turbo engine. You recognize this from GR Yaris. 300 horsepower, 273 pound-feet of torque. It's a hot hatch, it's a fast hot hatch. Now let's talk about the all-wheel drive system. People have different reasons for driving a hot hatch, a rally car. Maybe you need it to drive in snow, or mud, or dirt. Maybe you wanna have more control. Maybe you wanna drift and slide, hold tight to the track. The GR4 all-wheel drive system can distribute power. You can choose the drive mode based on how you want to drive it. You can have a front and back ratio of 60-40, 50-50, or 30-70. Wow, and you get to control how you drive it. Let's open it up. It's gonna remind you very much of Corolla hatchback. You'll see tie downs here extra storage room. We've even got child latches here. This is a five seater, remember? It's not the biggest back seat, but you wouldn't expect it would be. Now look at this, this is interesting. The battery is in the back. So let's look here, take those off. 
Now let's say you do have to take the seats and put them down because you're going to use it for cargo space. Look at this. It's a relatively flat surface here. Good vertical room. So that opens up the possibilities of what you might do in here. This has the new Toyota Audio Multimedia. You can see the eight inch screen there. So let's look inside. We got to know what we're working with here, right? Oh, okay. It's chunky, it's grippy. That could be a nice flat surface for an armrest. Remember, these are ultra suede seats in this particular one. Now these are prototypes, so it could have sport fabric seats, which should I expect? That's what I would expect in a core. I would expect to see the ultra suede in the circuit edition. Remember, these are prototypes. So let's look here. You can see that raised screen. Look at that cutout right here. It really helps with visibility. I see sport pedals, I see the shifter, I see drive modes. Let's take a look at the seating here. I expect in the core trim level, we're gonna be seeing sport fabric seats. I don't think we're gonna be seeing ultra suede. So keep that in mind. This has a manually adjusted height adjustable seat, leather wrap steering wheel, sport pedals, lots of gloss black here going on. And then let's take a look here. We got a racing wheel. The lighting in here is not the best. Now this will be the Toyota multimedia system. That means that you're gonna be able to say, hey Toyota, directions to cookout. Hey Toyota, what's the weather? Hey Toyota, tell me a joke, something like that. Of course in Tundra, you can see it all the way up to 14 inch screen. We've got a USB right here I see. And then this is intelligent manual transmission. It's not available in automatic. This does not have, I promise you, it does not have EV mode. No breaking news, no spoilers. This is not a hybrid. This is a prototype. Then it's got the driving modes. And then we've got, look at this, front, rear, normal. What else do we have in here? Got a USB. Looks like a 12 volt circular. All right, that's cool. And I cannot turn this on. I'm sorry guys, because I don't have the key and they're not letting us look inside it. Boo. The other thing that this has, Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. It's different. It's improved from 2.5, 2.5 plus, holla, because it has the ability to detect in certain situations, motorcycles and guardrails. So that'll help you in construction zones, It'll help you on the highways. I feel like I'm making a music video now. We gotta love thy neighbor, love thy cycles. Be careful, protect, Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. So thanks everyone for watching. What do you think of GR Corolla? Is it worth the wait? Which one do you think you'd like? The core or the exclusive limited edition circuit edition? What? All right, supersonic red, heavy metal. They're also available in white, and then this one's available in black. Pricing will be available soon, not now. Thanks so much, leave a comment, say hi, let me know what you think of this hot ride, hot hatch. See you next time.